to the crazy ones. The misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them, because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. He was a, a pilot in the Air Pakistan Air Force, and in 1971 he was missing in action and then declared Shaheed in 1976. Um, we believe he was a prisoner of war, and we are very proud of him because um, he's a big hero in the Air Force family. Three roads in Pakistan are named after him. My mother was a headmistress at the Pakistan Air Force Base Masroor School. Uh, my sisters were doctors in the Pakistan Air Force and uh, I was the black sheep of the family, so I got into advertising. Um, I bumped my university in the last year because I got a very small offer from a very small agency, but I was very passionate about advertising. So I left electrical engineering from University of Engineering and Technology Lahore in the final year to join a very small agency at, I, I was getting I was offered 2200 rupees per month and uh, if I had finished uh, uh, my engineering, my job was guaranteed in PIA because my father was in PIA and a seat of uh, people who serve in PIA but the children is generally served and you know, the job is guaranteed. But, but I took a massive risk because I was very passionate about this field and uh, that is the reason why I joined it. and. Um, the good thing about it was that my family, in spite of me taking a very bad decision, which I will not let my children take, my family supported me and uh, I moved into advertising. And uh, within a year, I joined Interflo, which was at that time and still now is Pakistan's number one advertising agency. And that was my grooming academy and uh, that, was, that was the start of my advertising career. Um, I think the first day of headline, which is our uh, company, started on 1st January 2005. And the reason why, these, there were lots of reasons, obviously everyone dreams of having their own business. I cannot imagine a person not thinking about it. Um, not everyone takes the uh, initiative, but everyone thinks about it. Um, the reason, there were lots of reasons, but I think the most interesting and the most relevant reason was that I hated the standards of advertising in Pakistan. I hated the way our ideas were presented and were shot down and no one was there to fight for it. And I wanted a place where I could actually 
convince people. I was never in a position where I could tell the client, okay, you have to trust us and we can deliver and we believe in our ideas. But uh, that was never the case. And even when I reached, I was a creative director at my last assignment and I, that in a creative department is the highest uh, post. Still, I was not able to because there was a boss over me and he would convince the client or he would, let's just say, compromise on the creators. I wanted a place where um, uh, we position ourselves as a sushi restaurant and that is the, the solution that I came up with that if people are interested in uh, that if people are interested in good creatives, different creatives and they, if they trust the work uh, only those people will come to us like a sushi restaurant not everyone will go there very few people will come uh, at a sushi restaurant uh, that is the positioning of headline. Not everyone is going to come. We will always have a very niche uh, clientele, but that is the clientele that believes in uh, big ideas, creative work, and uh, uh, the clients who believe and who have trust in us, look at these people can deliver. And uh, that is the reason, the prime reason that we started headline, that we wanted to do creative work. That has been our positioning from day one and even today uh, that is what we believe. I think the uh, the uh, most interesting, or let's just say the most uh, relevant question that I'm asked about headline is uh, about the name. Um, how and why did I come up with a name like headline? And the answer is very simple. It is a combination of uh, strategy and creative. So line is not just about courage. Uh, it is also about the communication. Line has the loudest roar in uh, uh, all um, uh, living things. Lion is famous for its role, so that covers the communication part and obviously a lion is known for the courage aspect as well. The head is basically for strategy and we firmly believe that creatives is useless without the backing of strategy and that is why we kept the name headline. Uh, we've got a very interesting uh, approach towards advertising and that approach is uh, I'm assuming uh, the team will take a shot of the room over here or of the office and uh, the idea over here is that what we do is generally we've got four key departments which includes the strategy, the creative, the account management and the media and whenever there is the, uh, uh, whenever we get a brief the first, the starting point is always a brainstorming in which everyone is involved. So what, how we differentiate from a regular advertising or a traditional method is that we believe that everyone has a brain, everyone is normal, uh, everyone can think and everyone is intelligent and you can get good ideas from anyone. Traditionally advertising uh, agencies work on the model that the creatives come up with the idea and uh, or strategy maybe but we feel that even our chokidars or our peers come for um, a brainstorming session if it's relevant uh, to them. For example, we were working on a telecom account and it was aiming towards the masses and the, uh, the idea that won the client was an idea that came from uh, one of our peers. So that is something different that we do. Obviously, we have the, the four key departments over here, fully functional. Uh, our lead clients, the client that we started off with was Titley and uh, uh, then we moved on to then our second biggest client was UPL. We launched the uh, UPL's Islamic Banking which was a very controversial, bold uh, campaign uh, on um, uh, UPL Amin and it created a benchmark for Islamic Banking. It changed the way Islamic Banking was advertised and after that campaign all the Islamic banks have followed uh, and or copied uh, the, the rule that we took. Besides UBL and Tetley, uh, we covered NIB, uh, one of our lead clients is PIA which was looking uh, for a brand uh, branding, uh, rebranding exercise and uh, it was being headed by a, a very famous person who was uh, the right hand for Richard Branson, uh, Virgin Airlines and a uh, very, very uh, experienced person in airline industry, obviously was fired a few months later when he was known because PIA is PIA, but uh, 
he was uh, a very uh, well known person in, on a global level in terms of uh, marketing and 12 agencies pitched for that account and uh, we won it. So PIU was won and still is, we are still working on it but uh, obviously the red tape uh, um, uh, creates a lot of problems over there. Uh, UPL, NIB, then uh, Karachi Stock Exchange, CDC covered a lot of uh, financial accounts including Adam G and then then in FMCG, we did a lot of work for Colgate Palmolive. We covered their toothpaste and their detergents and their soaps. And uh, obviously, we covered the tea. And uh, we are about to launch uh, biscuits, confectionaries, um, chips, snacks. And then uh, in milk also, you uh, in the next 30 days, you will see a very interesting launch in milk also. So we've covered a lot of different angles. Uh, Pakistan cables and the service industry we've done a lot of work um, telecom we've done projects but not as a, uh, a, a one-off projects but uh, a lot of work uh, on different projects for uh, a lot of different telecoms so we've got a very wide variety of uh, clients and um, in fact in the first year we won the Aurora Award uh, Don Aurora Award uh, which is uh, the first time it happened because uh, very few agencies have won in the first year. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, no one has. So we are uh, unique in a way that in our first year of our uh, inception, we won the award and Dawn Group's Aurora Award is the most highest or more well-recognized award in the advertising industry, well-respected also. So that covers the aspect of uh, the local clients. We've got a lot of international clients also. We've, worked, we've launched uh, tea brands in the Middle East where we had a client who was based in UK, uh, distribution in the Middle East, Southia, the packaging and the production was being done in India and we were the heading the uh, account. So we were actually running the show uh, which included people from UK, Southia, Middle East, Dubai and in India and everything was being done at Headland. We've also done work for South Africa on a, uh, for Reckitt on a brand called uh, Jick, which is a surface cleaner and uh, uh, a lot of work for Middle East market including uh, IFCO ice cream brands and uh, tea and um, uh, these detergents and stuff. Uh, that's about uh, the clients that we've handled. Initial homework was very simple. Uh, when I joined my first agency, uh, I still uh, have this very interesting conversation with a colleague that I've hired, and she was my boss. And uh, she made fun of me when I told her in 1994 or 95 that I will have one day I'll have my own agency. So the planning was there in 1994. And, 95. and what I did was, in the next five years, seven years, eight years, I covered all aspects of advertising. I was like a sponge in an advertising agency. I wasn't just in the creative department. Uh, I started off as a copywriter. I started designing ads. I started making artworks, things that people were reluctant to do. I wanted, I took those things. I would stand behind creative directors, art directors, and would uh, ensure that I learned something from it. So, जिसको कहते हैं कि शुरू से ही मुझे वो था कि सीख सीखता जाऊँ सीखता जाऊँ till at a stage when I knew क्योंकि the time is right and I should have my own agency. So the planning started uh, when I uh, started my career and मैंने फिर creative department में तो किया ही काम है even uh, did work at Interflow uh, in the client service department to ensure that okay I know knowledge of the business side as well. So I used to handle a few of the clients which people were reluctant to handle the clients which were famous uh, for being very rude or arrogant or uh, they say that creatives or client service ke liye bahut problems karte hai kuch clients so jinko koi nahi handle kar paata tha unko mein kata tha GM mujhe dhe dhe and I would uh, work on those clients and find uh, good solutions and uh, in a way I was better because I would it, if the Let's just say the lost in translation aspect was negated. The jo client ko chahiye hota tha, wo mujhe hi bataya ja raha hota tha, aur main hi uska creative karta tha, aur main hi uski strategy karta tha, aur fir usko kar. Then I worked in the strategy department also 
indirectly and uh, in different agencies. So, shuru se hi plan ye tha aur main usi tarike se maine fir seekhta gaya ki okay, mujhe sare aspects nikal uh, samajh aa jaye advertising ke. Aur phir uh, isko kehte hain what we did was when we when I made up my mind, I started doing some freelance work. Uh, which is uh, in a way unethical also. I opened up my shop right uh, next to uh, one of the agencies that I was working at and what we did was we got an apartment for rent and uh, I ensured that this agency I work in which I work in which I work in which I suffer in which So I would work the entire day, put in extra hours and then at night I would move to this apartment and uh, in the nights I would used to work on different small projects that I was getting and I was waiting for a big client uh, to come on board and um, which was very unlikely or almost impossible to think of. Um, so what happened was I got a call from uh, Tetley Marketing Head, the team had changed, the brand was suffering badly and they said we've got, called four leading agencies and we want to call one wildcard, we just want to see, we've heard about you so we just want to see how you present and we will, uh, uh, there's um, almost Im impossible that we will select you but we still want to give you a chance. I said okay I want a chance, I want to make a presentation. So what I did was I hired um, uh, dummy people and I took them to the presentation who had no idea about advertising, different students, friends and we went there as a team and we made the presentation and in two days we got the call, okay, okay you have the client what is the name of your company because we didn't have the, uh, even a name at that time and we, I said headline and then they said okay, okay uh, uh, what are your expenses how do you propose to start this because they knew that we were working on a more project freelance basis so I calculated my expenses and I said okay, okay to run to start a business I need this amount and we will ensure that you get as good if not better as good a service as any leading agency in Pakistan would give and uh, uh, they tested us, they started with a retainer which gave us the seed money uh, to start a business and that covered all our expenses and that is the good thing about advertising that uh, very little investment is uh, required, uh, all you need is human investment if the people are intelligent, if they can uh, you know create uh, a buzz about themselves and if they can deliver people test you out and let's just say if, if you come up to the expectations they are willing to invest in you and uh, you don't need uh, advertising business can start on almost a zero budget all you need is a laptop for yourself to make the ideas uh, presentation in. so Tetley was the first client that gave us let's just say a retainer which was a monthly fee and that ensured uh, office space hiring people and uh, that is how headline started and uh, we start pitching to other clients and we and the story unfolded in a very positive way. We got new clients, uh, money coming in, we hired more people every time we got a client, we hired more people and kept on reinvesting. So that that's how we covered it. Um, I think all businesses start with uh, sole pro proprietorship. That's the best way to start a business because it's not very complicated, the tax structure is such that you can handle it and anyone can start off like that and it's very safe also in terms of uh, not many complications are involved. Uh, we moved on to private limited uh, later on and then recently we had an arrangement with Interflow Group where Jupiter is merged with us and they are handling our media department and the deal and the uh, way we are structuring it is that we will support their clients in the creative and uh, they will support our clients in the media which was uh, one of our main weakest departments and uh, media support we are getting from Jupiter eventually it will be called as the headline group um, in the, that will be the identity but for now uh, we, are, uh, we are taking every step very slowly and uh, these are the three, two three areas that we need to look into uh, for anyone who wants to get into business, you start a new business, uh, my suggestion and advice would be to start off with sole proprietorship and uh, obviously uh, when you go for that you get your own NTN and you get your own bank account, signing authority and that covers that aspect of it. Once you move into private limited, 
then you will need proper accountants and uh, uh, to help you out. And uh, let's say if you have a small business or you're starting up and you want to uh, venture into private limited, then my advice would be to hire someone big on a part-time basis. So you hire, for example, uh, we hired a finance head uh, on a part-time basis. We paid him one-tenth the amount that he was earning at a bigger agency. He would come here in the evening, settle our uh, finances and uh, accounting and guide us in all the legal aspects and then he would do his day job. So that is one advice that I would suggest that instead of hiring someone who is very uh, low paid person and then uh, who might just be harmful for your company or brand, uh, you should hire someone on a part time basis and you could do um, many different deals. You could have someone on a daily basis who would come in the evening, you could have someone on a weekly basis who would come once a week and then f uh, figure out your uh, finances and expenses and accounting or monthly basis and these deals are available and uh, that is the most cost effective way. Obviously when you are big and you are earning a lot which will happen to people who are passionate about their work and who are hard working then you should have someone very competent, honest and someone who knows the job to handle your finances and legal aspects of your company. Uh, nothing serious, uh, uh, on and off you get a few letters and uh, you generally handle it in a way and ignore it or ignore it. But uh, in Pakistan, uh, legalities as far as advertising goes, it's a very small industry and you generally uh, uh, cover those angles. But one very interesting episode was when we started a cafe, a marketing cafe and we used a picture of Ogilvy in uh, one of our communications on the net and we got a legal notice from Ogilvy Pakistan which is an ad agency over here and uh, they said that you can't use Ogilvy's picture and uh, so the way we handled it was and it was sent by one of the biggest lawyers in Pakistan uh, Sattar and Sattar I don't even know. yeah I think Sattar and Sattar was they are very Mm, uh, very serious about their work and it was a very scary letter that we got that okay we're getting sued and everything and the way I handled it was I sent them a bouquet and two coupons for free lunch and it was taken care of from there so uh, you need to be smart about it because there are bigger battles to fight uh, my advice to anyone who is getting into business is to make sure that uh, do not get involved in uh, small battles which will deviate you from your bigger cause. So if any issues like these come, try to sort them out outside the court smartly. You can do it uh, in a, uh, a variety of ways. Um, humor plays a big aspect, contacts, um, knowing people, the right people. But uh, your concentration should be uh, to succeed because uh, nothing is bigger than success. Once you're successful, you can cover all these angles. Uh, advertising industry has its pros and cons, but uh, I want to be positive about it. So, uh, obviously, all the business, whether you have a madrasa, a church, a factory, a hospital, you have anything, you will need advertising. So, all businesses, the good thing about advertising is that all businesses, no matter what business you are in, you are dependent. You are uh, going to need advertising eventually. And uh, Another great thing about advertising is that if you are successful, you will need advertising to sustain the success, otherwise you will fizzle out. And if you are failing, you will need advertising to uh, jump back into the game. So advertising works, uh, always works. And um, it has seen its ups and downs, but generally uh, advertising industry um, and the business uh, keeps on surviving. And every business is very important to you that God's prayers or whatever you have to pray 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 or whatever you have to pray. So many people come and they don't have successful people. Some people have to be successful in every business, some people have to be very successful and some people have to be very successful. So in this business, there is also a thing that you have to be blind in your business. 
ऑब्वियसली खुदा का हाथ होता है आपके पेरेंट्स का होता है वो कितनी आपके ऊपर है एंड देन योर फिफ्टी परसेंट इज योर परस्परेशन द अमाउंट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क द इंटेलिजेंस दैट यू हैव दैट ऑल्सो प्लेज अ की वो बट डेफिनेटली फिफ्टी परसेंट इज द लक दैट यू कैरी विथ यू एंड हमारी इंडस्ट्री जो है हमेशा ग्रो ही करती रहेगी कोई इसमें सच ये नहीं हो सकता कि इतना सीरियस दे पा जाए इट ऑल डिपेंड्स कि आप लकी हैं बिकॉज इवन इफ यू से अर्थ को एक जब आता है उस हाल में भी लोगों को लोग टेंट्स के लिए एडवर्टाइज करना शुरू कर देते हैं लोड शेडिंग होती है लोग जनरेटर्स की एडवर्टाइजिंग करना शुरू हो जाते हैं सो so, क्राइसिस में भी एडवर्टाइजिंग इंडस्ट्री जो है थ्राइव करती है I am obsessed with lions, so I judge every people, every person, and I compare that person with a lion. So even if people I'm hiring, or someone, let's say, who wants to get into business, uh, to be perfection, let's say, after human beings, and in fact, uh, I don't see humans as a perfect uh, construction of God. Uh, they have their own imperfections. Lion, to me, is this most symbolic of perfection. and agar uh, mujhse pucha jaye ke someone who is entering into a business field how do i judge him i see ke isme lion ki kitni qualities hain sabse badi quality jo lion ki hai wo uski courage ke agar banda jo sabse important cheez ye hai ke aap mein itna uh, tapad hona chahiye ke aap survive kar sakte hain ya nahi kar sakte hain because isme bahut upar niche aate hain to बिजनेस uh, करने वालों बहुत टाइप के होते हैं सोचने वाले तो तकरीबन सब लोग हैं करने वाले उनमें से 50 परसेंट है सस्टेन करने वाले वो हैं जिनमें तपड़ होता है जिनमें लाइन की क्वालिटीज होती है जो पूरा टाइम जो कि 100 परसेंट आता है बिजनेसेस में वो उसको सस्टेन कर लेते हैं और उसमें से निकल जाते हैं क्योंकि बहुत से लोग आते हैं बिजनेसेस में और जैसे ही बुरा टाइम आता है या कोई क्राइसिस आता है वो भाग जाते हैं तो उसको जज करने के लिए द बेस्ट ऑन्ट्रप्रनर इज द पर्सन हु हैज द करेज और करेज के साथ साथ फिर उसमें इंटेलिजेंस आ जाती है द सेकेंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट इज इंटेलिजेंस कि कितना इंटेलिजेंट है बंदा कितनी टैक्टफुली चीजें करेगा उसको अपनी वीकनेसेस पता है नहीं पता स्ट्रेंथ्स पता है कि नहीं पता uh, मेरे अंदर बहुत सारी वीकनेसेज हैं जो मैं कवर किस तरह करता हूँ कि मैं उस तरह के लोग अपने इर्द गिर्द रखता हूँ कि जो कि मेरी वीकनेसेज हैंडल कर सके जो स्ट्रेंथ से जाहिर है फिर मैं उनके ऊपर प्ले करता हूँ तो आपको ये भी पता होना चाहिए कि हर एक को अपनी स्ट्रेंथ्स तो पता होती है हर बंदा समझता है कि वो खुदा है बट उसको अपनी वीकनेसेस पता होना इज द बिगेस्ट ट्रेड डेट अ पर्सन कहना आप क्योंकि ये चीजें हैं जो मैं नहीं कर सकता इसके लिए मुझे हेल्प की जरूरत होगी चाहे आपके माँ बाप हैं चाहे आपके फ्रेंड्स हैं चाहे आपके जानने वाले चाहे आपका दुश्मन है इवन आपको दुश्मन के साथ निगोशिएट करना आना चाहिए और लास्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ये ही हैज टू बी हम्बल Uh, जिसको कहते हैं अना मारनी होती है बिजनेस में आपको बहुत ज्यादा जिसको कहते हैं लोगों के थले लगना पड़ता है लोगों के आगे झुकना पड़ता है अगर अना वाला बंदा बिजनेस में सर्वाइव नहीं कर सकता यू वॉन्ट यू रन योर बिजनेस यू हैव टू हैव हाँ जब आप सक्सेसफुल हो जाए जब आप बिल गेट्स बन जाए या स्टीव जॉब्स बन जाए तो आप रखें अपनी अना और उस वक्त आप दिखा भी सकते हैं सो दो स्ट्रेट्स आई थिंक आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज जो एडवर्टाइजिंग बिजनेस में जरूरी है टू गेट गुड बिजनेस एंड स्पेशली इन पाकिस्तान विच इज लेटेस्ट से कोई इसको प्रोपिगेट नहीं करता या एडमिट नहीं करता बट आपके कॉन्टैक्ट्स अच्छे होने चाहिए अगर आप लोगों को जानते हैं दरवाजा खुलना जरूरी है आप घर के बाहर खड़े होकर कुछ भी बोल के चले जाएं उसका कोई फायदा नहीं यू हैव टू कम इन टू दी हाउस एंड से मिसाल के तौर पर आपके घर के बाहर कोई बंदा कुछ भी बोल के चला जाए कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा अनलेस यू इन्वाइट दैट पर्सन इन and listen to him what he is saying. so वही चीज advertising में है कि अगर कोई आपको जानता ही नहीं है कोई अंदर ही नहीं आने दे रहा आपको तो आप जो भी करते रहे जितनी अच्छी प्रेजेंटेशन जितने अच्छे आइडियाज करने उसका कोई फायदा नहीं है दो स्टेजेस होते हैं ऑब्वियसली वंस यू हैव ए रेप्यूटेशन देन पीपल स्टार्ट कॉलिंग यू बट स्टार्टअप बिजनेस का जो क्वेश्चन है और स्टार्टअप बिजनेस का तो इसके लिए बहुत जरूरी है कि आपके कॉन्टैक्ट्स होने चाहिए और वही सबसे बड़ा बैरियर होता है कि अगर आप किसी को जानते ही नहीं है तो किस तरीके से आप कवर करेंगे इन चीजों को तो आई थिंक द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वेन यू स्टार्ट एडवर्टाइजिंग और यू गेट इन टू एडवर्टाइजिंग इज टू फाइंड कॉन्टैक्ट पीपल हु आर इन डिसाइसिव पोजिशन तो फॉर एग्जाम्पल हमारे केस में मार्केटिंग है इट्स ब्रांड मैनेजर्स पीपल हु कैन ओपन द डोर फॉर यू फॉर यू टू मेक अ प्रेजेंटेशन एंड गेट द अकाउंट
और उसके बाद फिर छोटे मोटे बैरियर्स जो बाकी भी सुनने होते हैं वो तो आते ही रहते हैं दैट आई थिंक इज द बिगेस्ट थ्रेट दैट वन हैज और द बिगेस्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑल्सो दैट वन हैज I think I should uh, start with uh, how we started to compete with the giants because when we entered the field obviously no one knew us people knew me as Neil Christie and very few people that too but uh, headline ka to sawal hi paida nahi hota tha ki headline ko koi janta so our biggest challenge was to get the name recognized and the headline brand recognized and jo marketing giants jo the us pe wo sare अपॉर्चुनिटी एरिया हमारे पास क्या था बिकॉज मेरा बहुत एक्सपीरियंस रहा था मैं दस पंद्रह साल का तो था एक्सपीरियंस जब मैं एडवर्टाइज में था तो मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द क्लाइंट्स आर नॉट हैप्पी विद देर एजेंसीज इट्स अ मोर ऑफ अ हस्बैंड वाइफ सिनेरियो जहां पे हस्बैंड कभी खुश नहीं होता आपकी वाइफ से और उसको हमेशा गर्लफ्रेंड ज्यादा अच्छी लग रही होती तो इट वॉज अ वेरी सिमिलर सिनेरियो जहाँ के ऊपर जिसपे एडवर्टाइजिंग इंडस्ट्री थ्राइव कर रही होती है तो उस चीज को जिसको कहते हैं हम लोगों को अपॉर्चुनिटी एरिया लगा हमने कहा कि हमारे पास वही लोग आएंगे जो अपनी एजेंसी से खुश नहीं होंगे बिकॉज अगर कोई अपनी एजेंसी से खुश होगा तो वो हमारे पास क्यों आएगा सो वी आर जो इमीडिएट था इन द वे वी जिसको कहते हैं डिजाइंड और क्या कहते हैं प्लान जिसको कहते हैं हमने पूरा अपना जो बिजनेस प्लान था वो बनाया इस तरह था कि स्टार्ट ऑफ वॉज के हाउ डू वी डिफाइन टारगेट ऑडियंस and the target audience was very clear that people were not happy with their advertising agency that became a prime target why were they not happy the biggest reason why the clients are not happy is because the agencies are very state driven so uh, you have the owner of the agency who has his wife as the let's go get the client service head or uh, son as this brother as this mother as this father in all the agencies uh, the, the family was running the show so people would leave quickly uh, the clients would uh, know about this and they were happy with it and so we decided and i decided that in fact that till now it's been almost 7 years i have not hired uh, anyone from my family and the plan is that i never will there will be no person working from my family in this agency that is the plan so what we did was we defined the target audience and we created a very controversial campaign as a starting point and the first ad we had around i think 30000 rupees uh, obviously we belong to a middle class family to itne paise hote the 30000 hamare paas the ek mahine mein aur 30000 ka ek ad lagta tha uh, arora mein so we thought ki hum ek ad lagayenge hum saal mein ek ad laga sakte the to humne kaha ek ad lagayenge jisme concept ye tha ki humne headline ka naam recognize karana and we did we took a very right now i would say idiotic step not a very smart thing to do but at that time it made sense to us so we released an ad just uh, ka bold me in a very heavy typo the caption was fuck headline and uh, that was released in aurora until the last night we weren't sure ki ye ad print hoga ki nahi hoga in fact the, the day the copy was issued we went to the hawkers and to see ke in logon ne approve kiya ki nahi kiya and not just the ad was printed but in fact in the aurora awards don group award it was one of the finalists and the concept was ke advertising industry ke sets jo hain unhone wo ad place kiya hai ke bhai headline ko kaam nahi to uski copy mein ye tha because ye log jo hai na rishwat dete hain na parties karte hain na drinking karte hain ye log sirf acha kaam karte hain and we don't think you want that so that was placed by a group of advertising industry people jinhone wo ad place kiya and it made fun of the state culture in the and that spoke to the audience or uh, the reason why we gave the caption was we wanted the name to be recognized ki jab bhi ko jo koi bhi wo caption padega jisne bhi wo issue dekha and it was tested and proven later and everyone remembered the name headline उसके साथ जो हमने किया हमने एक वायरल वीडियो निकाली जो कि आप लोग इसी इंटरव्यू में देख भी लेंगे कि जिसके अंदर वी डब्ड फाइव मिनट्स ऑफ गॉड फादर्स ओपनिंग सीन जहां सेठ बैठे हुए ये बातें कर रहे हैं कि हेडलाइन को नहीं आने दो बिकॉज अगर ये लोग आ गए तो हमारा क्या होगा हमारा बिजनेस खराब हो जाएगा और ये लोग अच्छा काम करेंगे और मरवा देंगे तो
इस हेडलाइन को रोको सेठ साहब मेरे दो क्लाइंट ले गए साले गिच्ची से पकड़ के रखा था क्लाइंट्स को वो ब्रांड मैनेजर बोला इनका काम अच्छा है अरे काम वाम कौन देखता है हमने खिदमत की है मैं बोला जो खाना पीना है मिलेगा वो कल का बच्चा बोलता है सेठ साहब हमें काम चाहिए लगता है पहली बार एड एजेंसी से काम करा रहा है हम कॉन्टेक्ट पे चलते थे हेडलाइन की तो वो भी नहीं फिर काम कैसे मिल रहा है उन्हें कल के बच्चे इंडियन एड्स भी कॉपी नहीं करते तरुण से सेठ साहब हेडलाइन को रोको अगर सब क्लाइंट्स काम मांगना शुरू करते तो हम कहा जाएंगे ना कटवा दी कहीं वो दिखाने के लायक नहीं इलियास बोला सारी तो एजेंसीज में काम किया है और है भी बहुत क्रिएटिव ये कमी ने कुछ कर देंगे मेरी तो बहन क्रिएटिव डायरेक्टर है भाई जी हम बच्चे सारे क्लाइंट सर्विस में क्या फायदा इतनी चमचागिरी करने का छोटे छोटे ब्रांड मैनेजर्स की चमचागिरी की हमने कुछ के बच्चों के तो पैंपर्स भी चेंज किए क्या फायदा हुआ हेडलाइन सेल्स बढ़ाती है पागल वो हमारा काम नहीं है मैं क्या करूं हम्म हम सब किसी में भलाई है कि हम उनको खत्म कर दे लेकिन क्लाइंट तो खुश था और कोई हिडन वीडियो भी कर रही है एड एजेंसी को एक्सपोज कल के बच्चे हैं वो अरे पूरी स्ट्रेटजी बनाती है हेडलाइन हर क्रिएटिव से पहले और क्रिएटिव स्ट्रेटजी के साथ अलाइन भी होती है कौन सी एड एजेंसी में होता है ये हमारी स्ट्रेटजी कहीं और क्रिएटिव कहीं तब फॉर्मूला सिंपल था अच्छा क्रिएटिव नहीं तो दबा दो स्ट्रेटजी और आइडियाज के मलबे में निकलते निकलते साल हो जाता है और जब तक पता चले रिलीज पे कमाओ फिर कह दो मेरा कमीना क्रिएटिव सुनता ही नहीं है सर जी चले नई कैंपेन बनाते हैं खैर सुना है उनके काम की कोई शो रील बन रही है तुम फिक्र ना करो उनकी शो रील मार्केट में नहीं पहुंचेगी वरना मैं सेठ साहब ने फिर एक बिलबोर्ड जो हमें मिला था हमारे एक फ्रेंड ने दिया था स्पेस उसकी हमें मिली थी उसने मुझे कहा कि एक हफ्ते के लिए खाली है तो तुम लोग स्किन में तुम लोगों को कर दूंगा तुम लोगों ने कुछ लगाना है तो ये सारी चीजें एक साथ ही तकरीबन ऑलमोस्ट लाइक वन एटी डिग्रीज कैंपेन हो गया था 
और बिलबोर्ड पे हमने किल हेडलाइन लगाया था बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली वो मासेज में जा रहा था तो वो वाली चीज थी कि वी वॉन्टेड के वो सेफ हम प्ले करें और उस पर भी इसी तरह था उसके भी आपको एग्जाम्पल्स इस वीडियो में मिल जाएंगी तो दैट इज हाउ वी पोजिशन आर सेल्स इट वी आर लेट्स द एंटी स्टैब्लिशमेंट एंड द स्टैब्लिशमेंट ऑफ द स्टेट इज को वॉज द जॉइंट्स दैट वर इन्वॉल्व द स्टेट्स एंड एवरी वन एल्स वर इन्वॉल्व इन दिस फील्ड and uh, to this state uh, what we do is um, uh, we position ourselves as lions hamara wanted ad jo ek cheez jo main hamesha propagate apni classes mein bhi karta raha hu business mein bhi practical life mein bhi ke consistent rahe uh, the moment we uh, that was the initial hot shot positioning and the moment we graduated into a an agency we took the platform of lions and that started in 2006 and uh, uh, from there on we positioned ourselves as a, as a bigger agency as someone who is in the front line aur uske baad se humne lines ki positioning ke upar kaam kiya to hamara jitne bhi ads hote hain jitni bhi communication hoti hai is very uh, line centric uh, even wanted ads ho gaye kuch is tarah ki cheez ho gayi wo aaj bhi hum karte hain aur usi tarah hum apne competition se wo karte hain hamari positioning is very clear uh, in the market people almost everyone who is involved in the uh, uh, marketing field knows about us and in the advertising field everyone knows about us and uh, one thing they can clearly say that okay this is a group that does creative work and that has become like a platform and the thing that we want to own social media is basically the uh, right now especially for our business word of mouth is very important we obviously uh, a traditional atl methods are let's just say less effective in our business in our business word of mouth is the key so social media is what we use even when there was no let's just say uh, uh, no one knew what viral is Uh, we started the first viral with our video up to khair bahut common ho gaya cheez aur jis tarah aap dekhenge aapko lagega ki yaar ye to hum dekhte rehte hain is tarah ki cheeze but 2005 mein is tarah ka koi concept hi nahi tha uh, we were the first agency in pakistan who started uh, who shifted their uh, let's just say presence on digital to social media so we had a website uh, we still have a website but hamari zyada presence of the, the way we pull everyone is ऑन फेसबुक ट्विटर लिंकटन जहाँ पर हम लोग लोगों को पोल करके लेकर आते हैं बिकॉज राइट नाउ कम्युनिकेशन इज नो लॉन्ग द इन वर्ड द इन वर्ड इज कॉन्वर्जेशन इट्स 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 अ टू एंड फ्रो मेथड दैट वी आर वी प्रोपिकेट फॉर ऑल द ब्रांड्स एंड फॉर आर सेल्स ऑल्सो विच मीन्स बेसिकली पहले क्या होता था कम्युनिकेट करते थे आप बता देते थे हम बेस्ट हैं अब क्या है अब इट्स अ कॉन्वर्जेशन यू इंगेज पीपल इन योर कॉन्वर्जेशन so we have the largest presence on uh, facebook jitni bhi ad agencies hain halanki hamari sabse choti ad agency hai ye choti ad agencies mein to sabar hota hai but ab kya hai ki hamari presence bahut zyada hai we've been very vocal about it and one of we've done very innovative things so in, in fact one of the most innovative thing that we did was uh, cafe headline which was basically centered around the theme of marketing and advertising and the idea was to pull people in um, a restaurant where they come and share ideas which included a library which included research which included memberships and we got uh, great response great recognition including an award from the USA uh, DIDX podcast which is an international company that picked us up for social media aur unhone kaha ye pakistan mein एक यूनिक केस हिस्ट्री हो रही है जहाँ पे इन लोगों ने कोई इन्वेस्टमेंट नहीं की कुछ नहीं किया एंड दे आर टॉकिंग टू पीपल ऑन सोशल मीडिया एंड गेटिंग देम इंगेज दैट वाज अ वेरी बिग अचीवमेंट फॉर अस और उसको दैट इज अवेलेबल ऑन टी आई डी एक्स पॉडकास्ट इट्स अवेलेबल ऑन आई ट्यून्स एंड इफ यू हेट हेडलाइन ऑन गूगल आप लोगों को वो पॉडकास्ट भी मिल जाएगा जो कि अवेलेबल है उसके ऊपर तो सोशल मीडिया हमारे केस में इट्स द प्राइमरी थिंग जितने लोग जो कि फेसबुक पे जाएं तो अगर आप हेडलाइन सर्च करेंगे तो बहुत सारी चीज़ें हेडलाइन रिलेटेड आपको मिलना शुरू हो जाएंगी और एक्टिविटी बहुत ज़्यादा नजर आएगी आपको ओके ओके आई थिंक इट्स वेरी सिंपल द बायर्स आर द पीपल हु यू अर्न फ्रॉम 
So who are buying your product, which is basically creativity and ideas and advertising. And that is obviously the client side, the brands who uh, pay you, pay your bills and who help you become a millionaire if you're an entrepreneur. And uh, the suppliers are, uh, depends on agency to agency, some have bigger setups, some have smaller setups. But for example, could be, uh, let's just say printers, outdoor uh, media buying, aajkal bahut kam agencies kar rahi hai. Media buying ki separate houses kule hai, jo media buying houses hai. Uh, uske lawa, jisko kehte hai, film production, jo jise hum log film production in house karte hai, but film production log outsource karte hai. To wo suppliers mein aa jate hai. Uh, uh, giveaways hai. Any aspect, depending on the size of the agency, can be outsourced and you can get it. Kuch agencies hai jo apne in house unho ne kiya hua hai. But client ki insistence hoti hai ki bhi hum isse karana hai, hum isse karana hai. So you get that uh, through the through different vendors and they become the suppliers. Okay. I think different, uh, uh, just ko kehte hai, objectives, different companies ke heads ke hote hai. Humara bada clear objective tha ki we wanted to see good creatives. And uh, uh, I'm still not happy with the work that you've done, but I think what will make me happy or what makes me happy is when I see a great campaign that comes out. And uh, because we are uh, a creative agency, the team or let's just say the management has evolved from a creative department that becomes the primary, uh, let's just say, uh, source of happiness. Bahut se cases mein, and majority of jo hona chahiye, jo mere haa shahid itna nahi hai, that is a flaw, but it's the bottom line ke bhai aap kitna kama rahe hai, how successful is your business in terms of profits, how quickly have you become a millionaire, that is another criteria, but for us that is secondary, that is not the primary, and what we feel is, or jo mein har ekko advice deta hao, ke money will follow, you should uh, work towards a target, paisa khud hi aa jata hai, if you run after money, you phir aana kama hota hai, so you excel in your field and that. Uh, bad experience, jo hai, let's just say bad experience, kya hai, ke bad experience, uh, jo sabse, jo mujhe cheeze hai ki hai, the hiring that I've done and people who have, let's just say, stabbed me in the back in terms of business. Ab jab jo bhi banda business karta hai, usko aise kuch loog karu milte hai, jo us, jinko hai saad usne bahut achcha ki hai hota hai, but wo eventually unko naksaan pichane kuch karte hai. Aur mujhe, on a regular basis, I say, kafi log mile hai, especially in the last one or two years. So, ye bad experience mein ratha ke, aur yehi sabse zada, jitne bhi aanje, aap koi bhi jata hai business mein, you should be mentally prepared that you will find these people, and the idea is, mein isko kis tarah handle karta hoon, ke bada easy hota hai, revenge lena, hussa karna, kuch karna, mein phir wohi advice deta hoon, ke keep your focus clear, you should be focused toward your business, इस तरह के चीजें आती जाती रहती हैं इन पे फोकस ना करें आपको फेथ अल्लाह पे होना चाहिए कि जो भी इनका हैंडल करने वाला जो है वो अल्लाह है वो इनको खुद ही संभाल लेगा एंड जिसको कहते हैं आप अपना फोकस बड़ा क्लियर रखें कि आपने उसके ऊपर अपनी सक्सेसफुल लाइफ के ऊपर फोकस करना दैट इज इम्पोर्टेंट Future expansion plans, which I want to do with innovative things. I want to be the pioneer in everything that I do. So what we did was we started off with the first creative agency in Pakistan. Then we ventured into Art of War Productions, which was the first strategic filmmaking, specialized in filmmaking thing. Then we ventured into Cafe Headline, which became, which is the world's first marketing, advertising, theme-based restaurant. Uh, we are now coming up with uh, a project called W, which is basically going to introduce word of mouth specialized marketing in Pakistan. That is going to be a first. And uh, social media is the future, so we want to have complete expertise in social media in terms of. Such a big flaw is with social media is that ROI is not so good. You invest as much as you do, you don't get it as much. So we are waiting for the right time and we are coming up with angles where it's a win-win scenario for everyone. You help the client earn and that from that earning comes your profit also. So that is another area that we will be covering very soon. So uh, in the next five years, we are going to do a lot of first, a lot of things that people have not done before. Uh, and we will remain in the, uh, let's just say in the domain of communication, advertising, marketing. 
I will not be venturing into making candies or making cola or anything else. The innovation will always come and will evolve from uh, the basis and uh, the passion that we have. The device is very simple. Hai. Uh, a very famous book biography hai, uh, and the, the title of the biography is also the concept that I want to propagate which is Eat, Love, Pray. And the idea of eat, love, pray is enjoy your life whatever you do because uh, it is almost like delivering a child. It is painful and everything but the feeling is intense, it's great. Enjoy that experience. Bura time bhi enjoy kare, usme bhi bahut maza aata hai. Have a lot of fun. That covers the eat aspect. The love aspect is you have to be very passionate about. Koi aisi cheez mein venture nahi karna, just mein interest na ho. Na saathi dar pe bahut log kehte hain ki yaar ye business start kar do, usme bada paisa hai. Wo business start na kare, just mein aapka apna interest na ho. So, har wo cheez, wo aisi cheez karna jo aapse aapki personality se nikal kar aa rahi hai. If you're a fashionable fashionable person, go into something which is style based. If you're an innovative person, go into technology. If you are good at relationships, get into service oriented uh, businesses like advertising or hotel or restaurant. So you have to start a business which you are passionate about and you have to discover that. Because her key traits, her banda unique, her key traits are in the same way. And lastly is pray, you have to have complete faith in God, you have to trust in Him. And you have to have that faith that okay, jitna hi bura aja, you should always be asking God for guidance and having faith in Him that you will not be able to get out of bad times and you will not be able to get out of bad times when you will not be able to get out of bad times. Because all these things are very good, which are coming and coming and coming. In one day, you can be a crore pati or you can be on the streets. So eat, love and pray, that is my advice to all the people who are coming in the business. I think a simple answer was that I was doing engineering. If I didn't get a job, I would still I would be an engineer right now. I had such a time period that I would go and get a job again and get a job in exams and get a job in engineering. So, that's my answer.